Hi, in this video, we will learn about string functions in Java. Now, first of all, what is a string? How can we define a string? For that, let us take an example of a character array. So here, this is my character array that contains a bunch of characters. Now, as per the rule of array, we all know all these characters stored within the character array contain some address or the index. So here we have w associated with index of 0, then followed by e with 1 and so on we have at the end e having the index of 6. So altogether we have index starting from 0 ending at 6. So this character array has the length of 7 because altogether we have 7 characters inside the array. Now the same thing I can represent easily with the help of string. Let's say first string equal to let us call it welcome and now if I print out let's say my array and also print out first string the output will be same right welcome and again welcome so we can call our string as the sequence of characters and now let us try something different let us try my array dot length that should return actually 7 and also my first string dot length now notice here that in case of array we have the constant length variable and in case of string in order to find the length we have the length method that contains the additional parentheses at the end. So please don't get confused here. Let us now run the code. So there we go again 7 and 7. So this shows that in case of string as well each of the character contains some index. Similar to the array that we have defined here starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let us prove that a string is basically the sequence of character by using the method of let's say first string dot we have the method called char at. Now suppose we want to print out the character of let's say l. So for that we have the index of 2 here. Let us try 2 and use the print statement. Let us now run the code. So this simply prints out L in the output console. So this simply proves our point that each of the character within the string is associated with some index. If I change this to let's say 6. So this will print out E in the output console. And there we go E. Now apart from length and char at method we have various other methods. Such as let us take example of first string dot to uppercase. So this method of to uppercase will simply convert our string of welcome to all capital letter. So this will become welcome. And we also have a method of first string dot to lowercase that will convert all the character to lowercase. And let us try to print this out by using the print statement. And now run the code. So there we go. We have welcome written in all capital letter and welcome written in all small letter. And now apart from all these we can perform various other operation on our string such as first string dot. Now as soon as you press the dot operator you will find all these options to lowercase that we already saw to uppercase char at then equals contains is empty concat length and so on. There are various other operations that are self explanatory. So let us try this one contains. It simply check that if this string contains some characters or not. Suppose I want to check if our string contains come or not. So for that let us type come and then print out the value. Let us try this out. So here we get true. So this string welcome contains come as a substring. So that is why it is now returning true. Now let us try something different. Let us try l-o-m-e. Let us now run the code. Now this time it is going to return false. So there we go false because l-o-m-e is not present within our string. So let us now revert it back. And now at the end how can we add two strings. So as we all know that if we use first string use the plus operator 
and then type something like to intern Shala. And if you try to print this out, let's see what happens. So this will append these two string and create a new string. So here we get welcome to intern Shala. So if you notice here that this to intern Shala is also a string and this is again a string. So combining these two string creates a new string object, right? So that is why we get the result as welcome to intern Shala as a whole. Now apart from press operator, we also have a new method called concat. So if you want to use the inbuilt method of first string dot concat, so this method concat, what it do, it combines the two string and returns a new string. So let us use intern Shala. Let us print this out. So there we go, welcome to intern Shala again. And now, as said, there are various other operations that you can perform on your string. And all these methods you can get by just pressing the dot operator. Now that we have an understanding of strings, are you ready for the quiz? Towards the end of the topic, we joined two strings by first using the plus operator and then using the concat function. If both of the two are performing the same operation, then what is the difference between the two? Answer in the comment section below. One lucky winner would receive an exciting intern Shala trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about string functions in Java. This video is a part of intern Shala trainings core Java training program. And to learn the basic concepts of Java and object oriented programming, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned.